Hello everyone and welcome to another art lesson with me, Mr. Richardson. This is an activity for my grade 4 students and you're going to be learning about the American artist Jeff Koons. He is well known for his ginormous sculptures based on everyday objects and they are really interesting because they look like they've been made from balloons that have been tied up. So you know those clowns that do the balloon tying tricks? like they make the flowers and the dogs. He does stuff like that, only huge, ginormous sculptures. They look like balloon dogs that are metallic colored. And you think, well, what are they made out of? Why, how can they be so big and so shiny? They're actually made out of stainless steel and they've got a colored film applied to it. And we're going to be having a go at sketching those balloon dog sculptures. So really simple equipment that you'll need today is a piece of plain paper, a grey lead pencil, and an eraser for any of your um, mistakes that you might make. Okay, grab your stuff and let's go. Okay, so with your piece of paper, you're gonna need to have it landscape, so it's going across ways. I'm gonna have the, um, the reference image of one of his sculptures. Um, to help you out and look at it um, as you're sketching out. We're gonna be doing a series of three different sketches in different positions. One really important thing that you need to remember about uh, the shapes of these balloon dogs, all of the sections are roughly oval shaped. So keep that in mind when you're drawing that we are working with ovals. So something like what my hands are doing right now. So the first one, I'm gonna roughly break up my page, just so you can do three separate ones on three she uh, sheets of paper. I'm going to do them on the one big piece that I've got here. So the first one, light sketches, don't have to press hard. I'm going to do the ear, the nose, so all the sections are kind of joined together. So the nose, and then it's got the little part where the balloon it's tied up, make it a little bit wider. The neck, so that, see how they're all joined together, so another oval shape there. The leg, it points out from there, so there's a joining part there, there's a joining part here. The body, tail, and then there's got like the extra bit of the air pocket at the end of that balloon. And back leg, and you can kind of see another back leg there. And then when you're happy with the rough oval shapes there, you can then start to go over and just tidy it up a little bit, make the lines a little bit more purposeful. and then you can rub out any of the, um, the scratchy sketch marks that you've had from the start. Okay. So start light until you get it right and then you can always just tidy it up. Okay, so that's our first one. Our next one is he's going to try, try and um, the next one is is going to be rotated a little bit. So we're going to start with the nose. Kind of looks similar to the first one, but then you can see more of the ears. And they all join together in that central part here. The neck. The legs, which you can see more of the front legs.
The body is kind of facing away so you don't see as much of that now. The tail. And the legs. Like so, that's my second one. And again, you can, when you're happy with it, tidy it up. Fix up any lines, make sure it's all joined together. So you've got, remember your joining parts, you've got at the, the head, the base of the neck and the legs, and the base of the, um, the end of the body and the legs and the tail. And the last one is facing slightly the other way. So you can see the snout a bit better. Point. And then about here is one ear, and then the other one's sort of a bit bigger because it's closer. It curves around to join that joining point right there. And the neck. And this front leg. Another leg. So nice big round curved shapes. You barely see the body because it's hidden behind everything. I make that a bit more rounded. Puff it up a bit. And tail. Okay, so there's my three different positions. And again, once you're happy with it, you can then tidy up the lines, rub out the sketch lines. So you should have three separate balloon dog drawings. So here is my three rough sketches of my Jeff Koons balloon dog sculptures. So a couple of tips that you need to remember that I have mentioned before, oval shapes, and that there are joining points for all of the parts. So the ears, the nose, and the neck is a joining point where they all um, come together. The front legs on the bottom of the neck is another joining point. The body, the tail, and the back legs is another joining point. So that it looks like they're all kind of coming together in those clumps of three and four. Remember, draw light until you get it right. So relax your wrist. Hold the pencil, not so much like you're holding it to draw like you're writing, like um, with your normal writing class, but just a loose grip. It's kind of sideways and just light circular lines and then you can always come back and go and fix up your outlines to perfect it later. So hold on to these drawings for next time because I'm gonna, uh, the next lesson you're going to be learning how to shade using value and intensity of color. So have a go at those three different positions of the dogs and I hope you enjoy this activity. I'll see you next time.